While media players are definitely the way to go in terms of overall accessibility, it's still apparent, at least in my opinion, that they lack the power and in some cases the freedom capable of giving you the complete multimedia experience your heart may desire. An HTPC, while not the most user-friendly, is very much an option that I believe is worth considering, and so I've taken the time to build a budget-friendly media center to see what you can get for $100 more than the NVIDIA Shield I reviewed previously. So what does this budget HTPC offer in the specs department? We have the main part of our build, the Ryzen 3 3200G, a 4-core CPU with a boost clock of 4 GHz, and an integrated Vega 8 GPU, which I overclocked to 1700 MHz, 8 GB of RAM with a clock speed of 3200 MHz, and a 2TB hard drive. As usual, we'll start with streaming, and if there's one big weak point of using the HTPC, it's the lack of streaming applications. The Windows 10 operating system and media player programs that support it in general leave a lot to be desired. While popular streaming platforms like Netflix and Hulu are available in some capacity, they're just not up to the standards of their media player counterparts. There are certainly some roundabout ways for keeping things all in one place, but in most cases it's a choice of quality or easier navigation, as the latter isn't offering resolution higher than 720p, nor audio pass-through. While streaming is definitely going to be a bit of a headache, personal media is definitely a bit better. DVD ISOs with MPEG-2 and Blu-ray rips with the VC1 codec are not a heavy task for this PC in the slightest, so it was all about testing the high bitrate 4K movies using the H.265 codec, and I could definitely say this PC handles that with no problem. Unfortunately, I can't test the HDR playback functions or the Dolby Atmos around sound, but I can at least confirm that the DTS HD and Dolby True HD are working through my receiver. If you're going this far for an HD PC setup, then you're most likely doing it because you want a better gaming experience for the extra coin, and I could say that the 3200G has its highs and lows depending on what you're aiming for. I decided to start with the emulation for the 6th generation of consoles, and the results are pretty amazing. Reaching 60 frames per second is a breeze for most games, and upscaling between 1440p and 1080p seems to be the sweet spot as 4K definitely struggles when it comes to performance. Bear in mind that the overclock is definitely going to be necessary especially with the more demanding titles. Pushing into the 7th generation seems to bring a mixed bag of results. The Wii U emulator CMU certainly seemed to do pretty well with many of the titles I tested out, and I was able to boost the frame rate of Zelda Breath of the Wild, something I did not think would be possible. Unfortunately, things go down from there as we jump to the PlayStation 3 RPC S3 emulator, where the CPU hits its limit and struggles to even perform moderately well on most of the available titles. While emulation may not get you very far into last-gen console gaming, let's not forget that there is a far greater selection of titles that are very much available for the PC. Starting once again with the 6th generation of titles, we see games easily manage 1080p at high settings, but once again struggle to target 4K resolutions, which means presentation over performance will be a choice you will have to make. Moving into the 7th generation, we definitely see a drop in resolution, where demanding games have to target 720 to 1080p to keep up with consistent performance on high settings, and 4K is definitely out of the question unless you are okay with lowering settings or frame rates. Going into current generation territory, the hardware definitely starts to meet its match. In terms of performance, gaming at 720p or 900p seems to be the target with medium textures and low settings on pretty much everything else. And with that, we are pretty much looking at the end of the road here, where a dedicated GPU will be necessary to have any hope for a next generation experience moving forward. Ultimately, this budget HTPC accomplishes an amazing gaming experience for its price. Unfortunately, streaming leaves much to be desired so it really comes down to personal media and gaming being the reason you want to go this far. Setup is definitely something that bears mentioning, as a lot of tweaking will have to be done before you get to a comfortable space where a keyboard and mouse won't feel as necessary, but I honestly feel like it will be worth it in the end. Well that is it for the latest media player review. I do plan to do a more comprehensive video on emulation for the 3200G, as there's definitely more to talk about, so be on the lookout for that video in the next few weeks. For now, this is the core of your resident entertainment techie, signing out.